everyone and thanks for stopping by at DigiDesign Resort. Today I like to show you how to create a basic layout using Photoshop elements. So what I did so far is I've opened several um, images, some backgrounds and um, some flowers as you can see here, leaves and of course the photos. Okay, um, I'm using the Kids Summer Cottage created by the DigiDesign Resort designer team. Okay, first of all, I pull another paper on the layout, make it a little smaller. The great thing about uh, digital scrapbooking is that you can use everything as you wish. You never have to worry about um, because you can use your elements over and over again. So you cannot go do anything wrong. Okay, I just want this corner and of course I want a little shadow here because it makes it look more realistic to create a shadow you simply do a right click click here edit layer style and you can adjust your shadow and uh, don't forget here to use the lighting because when it is um, somewhere else you might not see your shadow Okay, I'm fine with that, so okay. Now I add um, my photos. And if I want to change uh, how they appear, I just um, use the left mouse and pull the layer down wherever I want it. In this case, I want them to look out here and again I add a drop shadow right mouse click into the photo edit layer style add a little shadow and the next one And I pull it under the other photo because it has here this arrow and I don't want this to be seen so I pull it under that photo and adjust it a little. I think the other photo can be a bit smaller and that's a great thing you can change as long as you wish until you are totally happy with your photo, with your layout. Okay, so um, again another layer style, drop shadow, and now you can start decorating your photos. I have some word art here, and I can uh, let them appear on the the photos of course. Just adjust it a little and then pull it under the photos. You might like to um, to change the color of this. This can easily be done. You just uh, click with your you click on command and you see your fingers turn into a square and click with the left mouse and then you click here in this little square um, circle and click solid color and then you choose a color let's see I think I go with the yellow because the other paper is yellow and then I turn off this layer and maybe well you can add um, also and you have to choose it. Click Edit Layer Style. So I can make a little shadow. 
Okay, and uh, now I just go ahead, I drag and drop basically. You can decorate as you like, push the layers wherever you want. Um, with Command T, you can make uh, them appear. You can you can transform your elements like I did now. Um, here, add another layer style. And if you feel something is wrong, you can always go back with undo history. If you haven't opened this window, you find it here under window, um, undo history, and it will appear here on your side. Of course, you don't have to use an element just one time as you have to when you do traditional scrapbooking. I can duplicate the layers and I will do now with this flower. And for that I just do a right click on my layer and click duplicate layer. Click OK. And then you can drag and drop it somewhere else. Of course you can make that one smaller. Well, and then you go ahead and um, put more elements just as you wish to make it look good and you can always change, drag and drop, start from scratch, whatever you like because this is definitely the best of digital scrapbooking. You can redo your steps. So. Um, Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you found it useful to get started. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one.